Hi guys, Tin Man. Um, my ignition circuit for my HHO motor that I'm building. Um, well, Russ and myself are going to give it our best shot and see what we can come up with. One spark uh, per power stroke isn't what I wanted. I want the spark to continue all the way down the stroke so as to get no misfires. Um, before I go any further I want to say good day to my friend over there in the Netherlands. I know you're travelling a bit rough at the moment and going through some hard times. Um, chin up buddy and looking forward to your return to the forum. Okay, so like I was saying, it's my new ignition circuit, it's just a 555 timer, 2N3055. Um, a few resistors as you can see, just so I can get the resistance pretty much well spot on to where I want it and get the effect that I was looking for. Um, I've made the circuit, I've got a 25k pot here. And this is so I can go from about 35 hertz right up to 1.7 kilohertz. So um, what I'll do is I'll plug it into our power supply now. Just the 12 volt system. And about 35 hertz you can see we get a very nice light show there. That's one hell of a good spark. Um, and by adjusting the pot. to 1.7 kilohertz. So um, one thing I wanted to show you it's probably around about 200 kilohertz there. Got here uh, just a bit of heat shrink tubing I'm going to use for a straw. Show you what happens when I blow moist air on it just from me from the old lungs. So I thought that was a pretty good effect. Uh, seeing we're going to be injecting steam. I'll give it another shot at higher frequency. So as you can see from that, that's going to be very, very nice inside the motor. And that's almost a guarantee that it's going to fire every time. Okay, so I just thought I'd uh, do a quick video on the old system there. I've had it running for about 20 minutes non-stop and the transistor is only slightly warm but I am going to put a fan on the back just to make sure that we have no heat issues with the transistor. As you can see I've got a fairly big chunk of heat sink there so shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay, uh, next install the system on the motor and see how she runs just on straight fuel to start with 
and then we'll start the other mods with the fuel systems. Okay, bye for now.